whole spot to root up tomorrow. What's up, modern steaders? Saturday, we went to the Mother Earth News Fair. We had a really great time. We got to meet some awesome subscribers and have some really good conversations. So everybody who was there, I wanted to say hello. Thanks for coming. We had a great time. And as you saw, we had a conversation with Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. That was really fun. We ran into Wrangler Star over by the Yanmar tractors. So since we have a Kubota, he has a Yanmar. We were talking about tractors. I'll post the talk that we did with Wrangler Star tomorrow. So that'll come out then. We went and we watched and listened to the Kombucha Mama. She had a talk on making kombucha that was really good. We recorded that. I'll either have that up in a couple of days or I'll just have that as an extra video that I put on the channel. And we got some really, we got a really nice, um, we got a really nice garden tool. We're gonna put that to use. I was talking to the guy about it. We got his down and dirty info on how he makes these tools and why they're so great. So stay tuned to a bunch of good videos. But right now we're gonna get to work. It's about almost 90 degrees out here. Woohoo! we're having a heat wave. We're gonna get the garden planted. So let's get to it. I know, right? I don't want to go for no more falls. Look at how good those are doing. Awesome. The soil's nice and warm, which is good. I can't believe how well they rooted up. Kind of nice, you can just twirl it. Give you a nice hole. Can't get off over how quick that soil warmed up, too. The soil was just so cold the other day. Crazy how warm it is today, isn't it? So hot. Too hot. Too hot. Too hot. Just complaining it was too cold and wet. Now it's too hot. Plain, plain, plain. Okay, right here. Yeah, there's another row here. And those ones. So we planted a bunch up. Our corn starts. And then on this end, we're gonna have three rows of just seeds we're putting in right now. That way it'll space out of when the corn is ready to eat. Tomato plants are doing awesome. Look how thick that stalk is. You want me to water it? Yeah, we'll water it after. We'll water it all together. So let's over here do carrots and rutabagas. Breeze feels nice, but it's still warm. Just want to lightly dust them so they're not too deep. Like Jack and the Beanstalk. Blend some beans. So which ones are those? Those aren't the purple ones, are they? Or what? 
purple. Those are the purple ones? Okay. Cool beans. We like the purple green beans. And then on this side we're gonna do blue lake bush beans. And the purple ones are also bush beans too. So Gina had a great idea. We're gonna leave a space here for green beans, but we're gonna do them in probably, I don't know, a few days to a week, probably a week or two. And that way we'll have all those green beans are coming in. We're gonna have more than enough green beans there. And then we'll have these ones coming in later on. So we'll have more green beans and we're just gonna have like a steady flow. And then on this end, we're gonna get some more onions in right now. You enjoying the hot weather? Or is that why you're hanging out in the shade? So we have the onions intensely planted, really close together, and our green beans over there, and pretty much everything. But what we're gonna do is once everything starts growing up and we can see and tell which plant is which and not weeds, we're gonna heavily mulch everything. And we wanna keep everything, a lot of plants in a small area, and then we'll just feed them heavily with some awesome compost, and that way we can get a really great abundance out of these small raised beds. Hey, look what I found over here. Look at this tomato plant. Tomato. Look at oh, this tomato, tomato plant. Tomato. Ooh, it's ooh. already getting ready to flower out, guys. You see that? Awesome. Maybe we'll have tomatoes before we know it. BLTs. Woohoo, here we come. I'm just using my trowel to make my lines and just pulling it back and dragging it. And then we're just Planting our seeds in it and backfilling it. Here we're planting our beets. We're gonna get a lot of beet greens and a lot of beets out of this area, which is gonna be awesome. I just wanted to show you something about beet seeds. I don't know if you guys know it or not, but these right here, they're the seeds, but they're more of a pod. There's like two to three or five seeds in each one of these. Plant that last row with some radish and some Swiss chard. And we'll leave some of it empty for now, and then we'll figure out what else you want to put on the other half. Okay. Perfect. It's a hot one. It's warm out today. A couple of days like this. And well, I just think you don't get used to it. You just like freeze in and then pop. Yeah. Your body doesn't get acclimated, acc acc I can't say it. Acclimated, yeah. acclimated, whatever it is to the weather, because you go from one extreme to the other. And we finally got to plant the seeds in our new garden beds. Woohoo! It's about time. We're really liking our new garden trowel. I don't know, what do you guys use? What's your favorite garden tool? This thing's been very universal. I like going up the old, go in the ground with it. You can just spin it around and pull it all out. And then I can just drag and make my lines. Works pretty slick. Let me know what you guys like. Roger Hart commented, what a great video of two great homesteader channels. Great talk on animals and maintaining stress. They were talking about the interview we did with Off Grid and Doug and Stacy. I'll link that video right here. You can, I'll put it on there so you can try now. Is that good? Gotta keep moving, but otherwise I'm gonna flood out the corn.
I like when it looks dark. It's pretty or dark. Mm -hmm. And once we get all done doing this, we get to go put the Icelandic chicks in the incubator. All right. Louise is gonna be so excited when those start hatching. Yep. <laughs> I like how we got planted staggering so we'll have different stuff coming out at different times. Yeah. They think sometimes it's, oh, nothing, and then everything at once, and then you get overwhelmed, and... And now we can go get the incubator started and put the Icelandic eggs in it. Let's go. Yuppie! Look at how good they are. Look at this taste. It's liking it. Uh-huh. You like that? Now, the not so fun part. Pluto, you ready to do some Icelandic eggs in the incubator? Uh-huh. Yay. I think they're going to be really small chicks because the eggs are little. Right. Yeah, but then they will grow. Yeah, but it'll be cute. Extra cute. Yeah. But they might be the big, but they might be just like the barred rock chicks when they come out of the eggs. They Maybe, we'll have to wait and see, huh? We never hatched them. How many days is it? So we have to do before we can tell if there's anything in them. Eight? Eight days? Okay, Miss Livies. Ready? Uh-huh. We're gonna put them which way? Downward. Point your side down? Yeah. We're gonna keep them spaced out this time. Yeah. Anything. We hit reset and we'll shut the beep off. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Minute. It's just letting you know that the heat is lose. The heat is lost. Making a pattern or anything, or um, no? No. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm just spreading. No, you gotta make it all by itself. Okay. Put it here. Okay. Perfect. So how many eggs are in there? Thirteen. Thirteen. Awesome. I was right. All right. So in a few days, we'll be able to candle them and see if they were fertile or not. And then in 21 days, they should start hatching. But on day 18, we got to take the eggs out of the turner, take the turner out, and then just set the eggs on the bottom. So you guys have to keep watching. We'll keep you up to date on the Icelandic chicks. You excited? Uh-huh. All right. If you guys liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, tomorrow we're gonna be uploading the interview we did with Wrangler Star. If you like the channel, share it. It's really been helping our channel grow and we do appreciate it. And we had fun meeting everybody at the Mother Earth News Fair yesterday, right? Uh-huh. Good time. Oops. And we'll see you guys right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Bye.